This, uh, this exhibition originated with, with the idea of, of uh, creating uh, three videos, which is supposed to be uh, a portrait of three individuals. But what has uh, happened is that the video uh, has become portrait, but it, it, it has gone beyond a portrait of, of, of an individual. Well, I have to, I have to begin by saying that um, that uh, Ricardo Vieira has been uh, after me for quite a number of years um, with the interest of, uh, of uh, doing a, a solo exhibition of my work. And all along, I was always thinking that it was going to be an exhibition of my paintings and, and, and my prints and, and photography. And uh, very much to my surprise, um, he had uh, a different idea. Ricardo approached me not about doing an exhibition of paintings or prints, but to do an ex uh, uh, an, another installation um, dealing with uh, video. And so we brainstorm about how that was going to become. And I had these ideas about doing a piece, uh, an homage to uh, Ana Mendieta. And I had other ideas. Um, once we committed ourselves to doing this, the Ana Mendieta um, um, project uh, evolved and went through some very interesting and radical changes and that situation also gave birth to two uh, totally new concept which was different from what I had earlier but the dialogue between uh, the curator and myself uh, gave fruition to to the result of, of this exhibition and so for years I've been contemplating the possibility of exploring film and, and video and, and bring into what I've been uh, manifesting through uh, painting and photography and printmaking, uh, these things in a medium that has a, a, its own uniqueness, its own language. It's a time-based kind of work. It's, it's a work that, that, that with movement and with sound. And so the, transi the transition to that medium um, became very, um, uh, conceptually feasible and at the same time it had its challenges because unlike uh, photography and, 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 uh, and painting which is a, a function where you work in solitude um, um, video and film demands um, the effort of a number of people beyond yourself. Facing the Storm was supposed to be a portrait of my daughter Leora but it has gone beyond just a portrait of this individual. Um, Facing the Storm became more um, an expression of uh, a lot of the trials and tribulations that a lot of teenagers and a lot of adults uh, go through, but particularly teenagers facing uh, the, the pressures of their peers in school and dealing with issues relative to their identity and their role in society and uh, living in a world where things uh, look pretty uh, gloom and, uh, and, uh, and hopeless. So what has become something of a portrait of, of Leora has become more of uh, a portrait of her battles, uh, if you may, in, in the physical and the metaphysical world. And it became an interesting piece where she has become uh, a, a powerful f figure that, that has overcome. The other, the other piece speaks about uh, issues that are much more political relative to uh, 
the Puerto Rican uh, equation or, or, or the Puerto Rican uh, question in terms of Puerto Rico being a colony of the United States, the politics relative to uh, certain people, uh, sector of the population wanting Puerto Rico to become the 51st state of the union, others uh, uh, fighting um, for total independence. Um, the figure that is most prevalent in this video um, is this female figure whose uh, face is covered by a Puerto Rican flag. And this figure represents the Puerto Rican nation, Puerto Rican identity. It also represents um, um, uh, Puerto Rican political prisoners incarcerated in the United States. And there's a lot of angst and there's a lot of um, anxiety in this piece, which is so different from uh, facing uh, the storm because with facing the storm, Leora comes through as a victorious figure. With this one, um, the pain and, and the angst is, is, is a continuum and it builds up and it's, it is uh, never uh, ending. Um, so it's a very intense piece and it's a piece that is projected from the ceiling to the floor so that people can walk around it and the illumination of that video projection coming from the ground up, there, it has a direct way of facing them and confronting them with this dilemma, which is a figure that is tied down, that is gagged, whose identity is, is covered and is struggling um, to, to, to free herself. Madre Selva is, is, is a very different portrait and, and it became, the result of it became more of, of, of uh, an, imp uh, an impressionist um, piece where I wanted to give homage to a friend, um, an artist um, by the name of Ana Mendieta, who died tra tragically uh, in 1985. And what I decided to do is to take one of her pieces, uh, one of her performance piece, which is a photograph of her covered in mud against this huge uh, tree trunk. And the title of that piece uh, is uh, The Tree of Life. I decided to, to, to take from that particular image from a performance that she did in Mexico and recreate it and create my own dialogue and my own impression of what she was trying to express through her work. And so the three different um, uh, women that I use are women that covers a range of racial uh, background. Three very distinct women manifesting themselves as uh, as uh, Ana Mendieta. And so the title of the piece, um, Madre Selva, um, actually came from a drawing, a wall drawing that she did for an exhibition that I curated back in 1982. The fact that uh, he approached me about doing something which is a little outside of the norm of what I usually do was, was uh, also, uh, in a way, uh, an act of faith and confidence in my ability considering that I didn't have any scripts or any drawings or anything that would illustrate exactly what I wanted to do. These things came to fruition when I started on the project. So there was a lot of uh, faith and, and confidence uh, in his part and the dialogue just kept giving more shape and, and more residence to, to what I was uh, trying to do. And as a result of that, um, I think we have uh, uh, a, a product that I feel is very powerful has certainly stretched my creative and 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 formal as well as technical uh, abilities, and it has also planted a deeper seed for me to want to continue producing more works and videos, especially at the level that it has been produced here at at Lehigh.
She was the spirit of what was to come. <laughs> <laughs> 